To begin, please add a part. In this case, we will be using a demo crown file. Then select prepare on the bottom left of the screen. On this page, you can double check the part type you've chosen. Next, you will be setting a milling direction. Please select the cavity option, then click Next. Here, you will be adding a margin line. Click on the margin, and the software will automatically detect where the margin line goes. Next, we'll want to load a blank. Here, we will be selecting a new blank. If you drop down filtering, you can select the material you desire to use. And underneath, you can select the sizing of the block. Then select Create. On this page, we will be selecting the fixture position. on one, it will add the block into the fixture. Please select the move part and move the crown to avoid any contact with the red line inside the fixture. Then, we will want to set connectors. To automatically set a connector, please choose the set connector option then click onto the crown. Please ensure that the connector does not touch the margin. Manually moving the connector not only ensures a clean margin line, but also reduces the amount of undercuts. After selecting OK, you can now calculate your toolpath.